Okay, so let's do the lighting part now through emission and not through the lights that will be do we will do in later stages. Okay, so this is just a point light by default. You can see here you can add a new light here. Point sun or the but it does not necessarily mean it will always have that point light. So you can make it a sunlight, you can make it a spotlight, you can make it an area light, you can change its color. In render mode, you can see the effects of the color. So it's up to you. Okay, so let's do the emission and we will see how good lightning should be done in later stages. But for now, this is fine. Okay, so this is our cube. And let's go to the area. So this cube can have, a, let's say, an edit mode. I am creating a new bulb. And this is how it will look. And select this area. It's very easy to create a neon emission effect. Just decrease the roughness, but we will do that later. Let's give this a red color. You can see in the render. Okay. So, first of all, we need to create a new group so that the color is not mixed with the whole body. So I'm gonna say red neon group assigned to this area only and you can see I'm selecting this area. I can change its color that means I'm just selecting a certain part and not changing the color of the whole object. I select this. This black line here is actually a shadow. So I'm gonna remove this because we don't not need it right now. So edit mode. Vision and Let's give it a tenth strength and give it a color like red. Okay. So if I'm in this area, you can see here this is not background color. This is right right now. This is light. Uh, let's say the colors are being emitted in a very strong strength. So by default, it's one. If you press ten, it will be something like this. So one is fine. Now if you want to see this look like a neon go to the render area because this is where advanced settings like shading lightning and strong depth of field motion blur reflections are enabled if you don't you can't see the proper reflections in your blender model so select bloom and you can see here already a little bit of effect is working now let's say i increase this uh, emission to 2 or emission to 5 and see here now that neon light is working if i hide these overlays you can see here a beautiful neon light is working. So this is how neon light works. So let's add a plane, resize it and let's give it some reflection. So I'm gonna say, okay, so my bad, I'm doing this in edit mode. So they are becoming a single object. So I'm gonna go back to the object mode and create again. Go with this, create a new material for this area. And let's say this is a black okay and you can see here the reflection is not working and it's just a glowiness but black there is no reflection okay so roughness is zero transmission is one and it should work a little bit but if i enable this screen space reflection and what i did was just decrease its roughness to let's say for now zero and IOR is actually the place where reflections work. But right now it's not working because uh, reflections are not enabled. So I'm going to put it in default value. It was 1.4 something. So 1.4 is fine. Take the transmission is 1. Why transmission is, what is transmission? It simply means that wherever, where do you want to see the transmitted light here? Okay. I'm just checking, don't worry. Okay, so go to the render mode, enable the screen ref space reflection. You can see here now the ground is reflecting. If I put it at 1.1, it looks even more better. Okay, so if I put it at 5, this looks like a glassy. And uh, let's say I'm giving it a color of, let's say, glassy color, let's say it's blue light blue 
now it looks even better what else you can do with this is increase the roughness so that the reflection is not totally realistic uh, like a mirror rather a ground with a rough surface okay so if i do this you can see here the lightning is now working you can do this for uh, let's say different windows have different lights or like someone has white light someone has yellow light that is up to you so if you don't enable a screen space reflection in bloom these effects will have no effect so let's say i'm unchecking both you can see here the bloom is not working and screen space reflection is not working impaired occlusion basically means that if i go here it just simply is a very advanced tool that we will do it later but uh, you can say uh, if shadow is indirectly falling on this object uh, it will have a quality norms here and there okay which we will do later and we will cover all the topics about it okay so there are too many things you can do during the render but for now this is enough let's say i'm changing the color of this and selecting this area and let's say i'm turning blue the green you can see that not bad okay so this is how you do image and effect and reflection effect.